My family would best be described as individualistic. My family models individual, individualistic because we, um, we value privacy, personal rights, responsibilities, voicing our own opinion and self-expression. We place primary values on ourselves and our personal achievements. Some examples um, for privacy, we each have our own space, our own bedroom that nobody else is allowed into if we don't want them to. Responsibilities, we each have chores and things we are responsible to complete. The kids have pets that they have to care for. Um, voicing our opinions, we encourage our kids to voice their opinion in a respectful way even when they disagree with anything. Um, we want to teach them that anything they are feeling or want to say is important. Self-expression is a big one for us. We allow each other and our children to express ourselves in healthy ways through clothing, hair, jewelry, interests. And then for us as parents and adults, we, we have tattoos and piercings and hair and whatever. Um, while we all work to do what's best for, well, while we work to do what's best for our kids, we encourage the, we encourage them to do what's best for them. So the collectivist part, both does and doesn't fit. One thing that doesn't fit is avoiding embarrassment. Um, and also, we don't base our self-esteem on how well we work in a group. We are more focused on ourselves than making that work as a family. Um, we also sacrifice um, at times for each other. So I guess we fall into the individualistic category, but also in some ways the collectivist too, but I would say much more individualistic.